Hello mates. I'm totally playing. Hi, it's Dee. Welcome back to Aqua Chick Cupcake Boys. Um, I am bringing you another Reddit video. Let's talk about it. Here's the prompt. Our Ask Reddit, what's the most disgusting thing you've seen someone do with no shame? Story one. Working customer service at Walmart, I once had a customer take off her very worn, very smelly shoes and put them on the counter looking for a refund because the insole in one of them was coming apart. It was a brand we haven't even carried in four or five years. Are you serious right now, man? Like, you can't be serious. Like, clearly there's gonna be some wear and tear, especially if you're wearing them every day. Goodness, these Karens. Commenter, and I bet they refunded her too. My manager refunded a shit filled blanket someone's kids had destroyed that we didn't even sell once. Sometimes it's easier to just get the loon out of the store. I agree with that. Story two, when I worked at Best Buy, a customer demanded a new computer because she couldn't remember her MSN online password. I told her that what she wanted was like going to a car dealership and demanding a new car because she ran out of windshield washer fluid. I wanna talk to your manager. I pointed my thumb over my shoulder and said, here he is. He was standing not three feet behind me and desperately desperately trying not to laugh. He said that no, she couldn't have a new computer and that she had to contact MSN. She threw a huge fit so we just called the cops and they took her away. I love it when Karens get arrested. Oh, I love it. Story three. It was my uncle's wedding day and his wife was just getting ready to walk down the aisle. One of the guests in the wife's family decided to stand up and show off his Johnson. There were kids there and he got kicked out trying to play it off as a joke. Why would you do that? Commenter, this does not have any of the makings of a well thought out plan. If anyone has any objection to this holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace with the comment just spelled it P-I-E-C-E. -E. Oh, Reddit is a lawless wasteland, I tell ya. Story four, I was in Japan at a strip club. I walk into the bathroom and as I turn to a stall, I see a naked Japanese man furiously beating off and hysterically laughing. Disgusting, but funny as hell. I made the situation even better by telling my friends a stripper was in the bathroom giving dudes BJ's they obviously jump up and run in there seconds later the screams ensued I'm just like literally picturing you're sitting in a freaking strip club all of a sudden you just hear a bunch of screaming it's just ridiculous <laughs> Commenter, this may not be the most disgusting thing, but it's the funniest so far. Another commenter, you are a very good friend. You did the right thing. <laughs> Clearly this person just wants to watch the world burn. I saw, a, story five, I saw a drunk guy try and pee between two people on the subway on the free seat in the middle. Whipped it out and everything. Thankfully, one of the passengers nearby was a tough middle-aged black woman who wasn't about to tolerate that shit. Bless her heart. She taught him shame that day and his pee pee stayed in his pants until he got off at the next stop. <laughs> commenter so he just waited and peed on the bus stop bench <laughs> probably bro story six visiting san francisco for the first time in my life we were walking down a busy crowded street just outside of the city center when i saw a homeless dude sneak into an open stairwell to pinch one off in the corner i didn't mean to stare i just couldn't help it well homie caught me looking made eye contact smiled wiped with his bare hand and flicked leavings in my direction before wiping the rest off in his hair thanks san francisco Go, I hardly knew you. Commenter in his hair? Fuck yo. But that's the only right reaction to this. Okay, the only exactly. That's nasty. What the fuck? Story seven. I was on a train once sitting across from an old man who was chewing a tissue. Ooh. He kept chewing and chewing with his mouth open, just slurping and chewing that disgusting piece of tissue for half an hour. I thought I was going to vomit. That is really gross. <laughs> Ugh, that ugh. Ugh. Story 8. At a music festival, walking past a garbage bin, my buddy walks up to it to throw something in. He looks inside, bends in, comes out again, holding half a cup bob, and goes, look at what people throw away, and proceeds to eat it. Oh my god. He had the immune system of a god. Had to. I don't understand. E, you fucking legend. I don't know that I would call that legendary, but okay. Story 9. I was having some bongs with a friend a year or so back and my stepdad bought some friends over for some R&R. One of his mates, who we will call Drongo, asked me if he could have a cone and I then said that was okay. Drongo then rips his cone, looks at me, and proceeds to drink the very dirty bong water like it was the like it was a normal thing to do. Never saw Drongo again after that awkward encounter. Ooh. 
story 10 i can't really say no shame here since the person was homeless but i was in nyc and saw a man eating a live rat on the subway the way the rat screamed was horrible and i don't know why he didn't just kill it first if he had to eat it no way no this is so Ugh. Commenter, I accidentally picked up a rat when sliding my hand under a box I was moving. The rat screamed as loud as I did. I regret reading your post. <sighs> same freaking same bro story 11 i'm gonna stop counting here because i messed up some slides so i'm just not gonna go back and rename them all and i know i'm gonna end up messing up counting again here at some point so forgive me or don't moving on i'm a hospice palliative care nurse i worked for a company that had med surge home health as well i picked up a couple ms patients to get ot so i'm thinking m slash s here means multiple sclerosis i go to this woman's home to do some wound care i knew when i pulled up that it was going to be a shit show pun intended because there was about 15 cats on her porch and going in and out of a partially open window on the inside there is twice as many cats the home smelled like you think it would smell i go inside and she's on a bedside commode i offered to give her a privacy because i think she's using it she assured me she is not using the toilet that she was only sitting there because it was easier for me to get to the wounds i'm like okay cool she has wounds on her bilateral lower extremity meaning both of her legs I would think legs or feet so I have to crouch down to perform the care picture someone on a toilet with a person hunkered down where that second person's face would like have to be for this to work I take off the old dressing start cleaning the wound that's when I hear it this woman starts pushing out a BM with my head right by her fucking arse <laughs> I stop what I'm doing and look up at her. I'm in disbelief at this point. I just stare at her for a few seconds and then I ask, are you really taking a shit right now? And Rich goes, I don't want to get hemorrhoids by holding it back. Plus, I know you nurses are used to everything. That is not an excuse to do that in front of someone. Like, golly. Oh, people are terrible. I stood up and said I'd step outside and give her privacy. I called the scheduler and told them what happened, told them to never schedule me for this woman again i don't even need to read off that last sentence bro but he called her see you next Tuesday. Mm. i watched a middle-aged man take his shoes off and clip his toenails onto the floor in a waiting area at logan airport from the conversation he was having at the same time it appeared that he was a mental health professional well you know maybe it was good for his mental health i don't know commenter geez is it bad that i immediately went oh that's not that bad compared to some of the other stuff in this thread easy to clean up and not too stinky i had a boss more like boss of my boss who went to a party at her employee's house and immediately took off her shoes and started clipping her toenails what where are your manners ma'am that memory did not unlock until i read your comment and the internet has ruined me for accepting it as less gross than the shit you read on reddit every day oh boy a drinker partner i once knew was very much a shock and awe kind of fella he would come out with the most insane stuff but was incredibly funny and intelligent my opinion changed on the last adjective when he went into the men's room and came out with one of those yellow urinal cakes that help keep the pee stench down he put it in his mouth and ate it get the f no 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 he didn't please stop please stop that's disgusting to this day i don't know why he did it but it was really weird and disgusting well no shit commenter it's crazy right they call them cakes but they taste nothing like cake tastes more like asparagus oh my i reiterate reddit lawless wasteland lawless fucking wasteland kid in middle school ran and dove into a super long trough urinal sliding down it baseball style the whole Whole length. I'm so glad I didn't eat before I read these. That's almost as impressive as it is disgusting. I remember cheering at the time. Looking back on it now makes me want to gag. Haha, <laughs> you didn't want to gag before? What the hell is- I interviewed a guy and decided to hire him, but first wanted to see how he drove, so I suggested lunch. I'd buy. Off we went. Took his truck, kept it reasonably clean, drove proficiently, decent table manners, good representative for the company, if it ever came to it. So I paid, and we piled back into his truck, me, for a and another guy as we're getting back to lane road country ish he swerved expressly to hit an armadillo and laughed like a hyena we got back my foreman glanced my way and i shook my head imperceptibly he nodded in agreement so we told the guy we had a couple more people to interview we didn't and that was that occasionally still think back and wonder why on earth an inoffensive creator and 
he went out of his way to kill it not our kind of people right commenter my grandmother taught me this from a very young age steer clear of people who don't treat animals well if they're abusive towards animals they're probably shitty humans my dad taught me the same my aunt taught me a particularly valuable one before you call someone the one go on some bad dates with them pick some restaurants with shitty service on the ass end of town see how they handle a bad night out a few times before you make up your mind about spending all your bad nights together i had a squirrel try not to a couple weeks ago and was on and off upset about it for a day logically i understand it happens when you're driving but i can't imagine being happy about killing anything i did that a few months back and it ruined my day i tried to avoid it but it went straight from my wheel after freaking out for the second i went back over it again just to be sure it was all the way dead accidentally killing it is one thing letting it suffer needlessly is another i didn't like it but i'm glad i put my squeamishness aside to make sure it wasn't suffering oh that's a rough way to go First that comes to mind, working at a casino, there was this one lady who smoked so much she complained the servers weren't bringing her new ashtrays often enough, started ashing on her tongue. One time I watched her put out a cigarette butt on the machine then f eat it. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 commenter. Years ago, at one of my first gigs, we were just waiting outside the bar in a small lane until it was time for us to go on stage. There was this woman there who was about 35, but looked way older and probably hadn't been sober in a very long time. At one stage, she proceeded to throw up between swigs from her beer bottle. In her vomit, there were lots of cigarette stumps. She'd been finishing people's beer bottles where they chucked in their cigarettes. I can't. That's honestly beyond rock bottom. That's alarming, sad, and disgusting all at the same time. I saw this guy got up in the middle of the bus, ride multiple times, and switch seats. I noticed he, he smelled like urine. And when he got off, I noticed all the seats he sat on were moist or wet. He also took out a big tub of Vaseline during the ride and slathered his entire face and neck with it. Commenter, weirdly, the Vaseline makes me more uncomfortable than the pee. A guy walked into the restaurant I was working in, tried to open the door going to the storeroom, and realized it wasn't the bathroom. He then proceeded to pee on the door right in front of people eating at the table near it. Then walked out. <sighs> rude. I was on a commuter train that broke down for about 20 minutes. Sitting across from me were a brother and sister, probably about 12 to 13. Their dad was next to me. The kids started licking each other's faces and picking each other's nose. Dad was totally unfazed. Yeah, I had to find another seat before I threw up. Mm, gross. Smoke electrical tape. The black plastic stuff rolled a small cigarette sized tube and two guys smoked it. Lit it, blew out the flame, and hailed over and over. They rolled a giant cone right after. Me and another buddy told them that we couldn't believe they were smoking tape. They laughed and said they couldn't believe we weren't quite disgusting. What the frick? Okay, so once I had a patient who was in the ICU after suffering a brain hemorrhage, subarachnoid hemorrhage from a ruptured cerebral aneurysm. She was a big smoker and obviously couldn't smoke in the hospital. She was also a big drinker, couldn't drink in the hospital. And the location of her aneurysm and therefore most of her brain dysfunction was in the frontal lobe area. Frontal lobe injury causes disinhibition and people just generally act totally nutty. So all those things combined made Made her totally delirious and wild. Anyway, her brain bleed had caused increased pressure in her brain, so she had a small drain tube in place that went through her skull into the side of her brain to both monitor the pressure and allow cerebrospinal fluid to drain out to help offload the pressure while the swelling from the bleed was going down. One day, we were called in the room by her nurse who found that she had somehow chewed her ventricular drain in half and was attempting to smoke it. She had the tube. She had the tube but draining from her brain inside her mouth that's so gross why did we come here it was vile vile this same woman also somehow managed to get out of her bed in the icu and shit in the trash can and do a poop in the trash can the brain is a mysterious thing i can't I freaking can't on a boy scout camping trip we rolled up newspaper and smoked it by the fire fucking rancid another time we dried dandelion leaves crumpled them up and rolled them into joints it may have just been a placebo but we swore that one actually gave us a buzz similar to cannabis teenagers are freaking stupid when i was in high school the bowl i used for smoking weed would collect resin as they naturally do and when i ran out of the weed i would scrape the resin out of the bowl and pack it into a pipe and smoke it this one time my buddy replaced the resin with a crunched up 
Oreo cookie. And I was literally trying to take big hits of Oreo cookie. I couldn't figure out why he was laughing his ass off the whole time I was trying to smoke. <laughs> ah, high school, where you skip eating lunch to go outside with your buddies to snort crushed out toys and roll down the giant hill. I don't know what high school you go to, but no. <laughs> we don't do that over here. Several years ago, I lived in an apartment in a low crime, decent part of Seattle, looked at my fifth floor window to see someone in the alley below us, pull down their pants, pull a pipe and a baggie out of his butt, fill the pipe and proceed to smoke it. Blech. Commenter, ah, the old crack pipe. I'm so done with you people today. I really am. I'm done. I've seen many disgusting things in my life, but one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in public was a man digging into his already exposed butt crack, swiping like it was a credit card and taking a big whiff. The kind of whiff the snuggle bear from Snuggle Fabric Softener commercial would take when the towels came out of the dryer. I didn't need that imagery. <laughs> I and several other people glared in disgust but he could not be bothered. Oh my goodness. The mother of my childhood friend would chew on the dead pieces of skin she peeled off of her feet. Pretty sure she watched Austin Powers Gold Member too many times. Why am I doing this to myself? Like I can freaking not understand. I am literally gonna have a good old vom after this. This is just gross. This is really gross. An armed security guard at Walmart was wearing sweatpants and had his hand forearm deep inside scratching his all the areas. He then removed his hand and smelled his fingers. After that he stopped an old lady to check her receipt and she ran away from him. Yeah I would have run too. He seemed unfazed. On my way out he asked me who would win in a fight? Xenomorph or Predator? His skin and hair was so oily it looked like he was covered in Vaseline. Commenter I can smell this comment. I can too and I would rather not. Bite the head off a lizard and laugh. A uh, commenter. I can read the other comments without flinching but this one really gives me the ugh, what the f. I watched an old crackhead in the mall poop in one of those fake flower pots then try to use the water fountain as a bidet. I can freaking okay that's it that's the end of the video I'm done. Um I was done anyway but now I I'm really just done. Okay so bye stick around for the next one don't forget to subscribe all that shit. Bye!